Okay, so I've been cleaning my blue one today. Um, you might notice it's looking a rather bit shiny. Um, it was just caked in dust. Um, it's been in there for months on it, getting covered in dust and crap from sanding and all that kind of stuff. Even with the covers on, dust gets through. So I'll be cleaning it today, give it a good scrub. Um, just give it once over it. So I thought, I'll tell you what make a pretty good video. I'm going to tell you my top 10 modifications uh, for a classic mini or the top 10 what I've done for this, if you like. Um, so I will start in order with number one first, leading through to 10. Um, and what I'll do, I'll put them in order of one to 10, which is how I put them on the van, on the, not the van, on the, uh, on the mini as well. So I'm gonna grab the camera and we'll, uh, we'll go through these mods. Okay, so modification number one, obviously, wheels. So I'm running six by 10 Revolution wheels with a AO32 tire. This was the first thing that I bought for this car, um, along with the seven and a half inch brake disc conversion. I've seen minis in the past with these 10 inch wheels on, and I just think they look absolutely cool as anything. And that tire is just absolutely sick. Um, yeah, as soon as I saw a mini with that tire on it and those wheels, I was like, the next mini I get, um, so this was the second mini that I bought, I say, first thing I did was get wheels on it, get tyres on it, just literally just transforms the uh, transforms the look of the car. I got them from Uddersfield Mini Spares, um, wheel and tyre package. I can't quite remember off the top of my head how much they were, um, but if anyone wants to know the price of them, you can just go to Uddersfield Mini Spares and look on the wheel and tyre packages, and uh, all the prices and costings are there, depending on whether you want an AO32 tyre, or whether you want the, is it the ADO8? A8008s? Yeah, A8008s, they do with them. Um, so yeah, but those tyres are super, super cool. So that's modification number one. Okay, so modification number two. Now, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but I don't know if you can see in there. I am running Gaz, adjustable shock absorbers on the front and standard shock absorbers on the back. Um, one, all the weight is in the front of a Mini, so I don't think you need gas on the back, because gas are a really firm shock anyway, and if you run the back of your Mini too hard, it'll literally just bounce down the road, so I don't see the point in putting gas on the back um, when you can just have gas on the front with a standard shock absorber on the back. Also, I'm running high-low suspension, um, just so you can set the ride height of the car as well. So obviously when you run 10-inch wheels, the 10-inch wheels are a little bit smaller in circumference than a 12-inch wheel, so it allows you to just bring bring that arch line down. I am running probably a two inch gap. Now, I was running lower than that, but I was catching everything on speed bumps. So underneath the car, I don't know if you can see, is it there? The cat, I was literally just scraping the cat on absolutely everything. So I thought, right, rather than be a tool, I'll just uh, raise it back up a little bit and then make it usable as well as obviously looking cool with a cool with the styling so suspension is modification number two modification number three Fletcher cat back exhaust with a three inch tailpipe uh, I just think the Fletcher exhaust just looks so cool um, like I say it literally sticks out past the bumper about an inch and a half uh, and it just ties in really well with the chrome bumper and obviously the chrome hinges on there which I've done as well which that's a modification that I've done, but I wouldn't say it's in my top 10 of modifications to do. So yeah, Fletcher Catback Exhaust, that is my modification number three. So back round to the front of the car, and modification number four is Evo Bullet Wing Mirrors. Now, this is probably the most easy modification you can put on a Classic Mini. Um, if Joe Bloggs can't put this modification on himself, you shouldn't really have a driving license. So it's literally four screws, a new gasket, and they literally bolt on and bolt off. Um, so you just whiz the old ones off. I've still got the old ones in a box over there somewhere. Um, and just another one which I will mention as well is every modification I've done to this car is 100% reversible because I don't particularly like mods which are non-reversible because if I ever wanted to sell this car um, and someone wanted a standard Rover Mini SPI, then I could quite easily do that because I've got all the parts I need um, in that box and in the other garage to, uh, to do that. So yeah, 
Evo bullet wing mirrors or chrome wing mirrors, whatever you like. Uh, that is my modification number four. Okay, so modification number five is lights. So I have changed the front lights to P700 headlights and then coming to the rear of the car, I have also installed Mark II stroke three lights. Um, you'll notice these lights don't have a reverse, which makes the actual light unit ever so slightly smaller um, and narrower than a standard uh, reverse light or a standard light with a reverse one built in. I just think it looks way cleaner without the um, without the red on it. Again, Uddersfield Mini Spares for all these parts. All the parts I've mentioned at the moment are all from Uddersfield Mini Spares. If there's anything that's not from Uddersfield Mini Spares, I shall, uh, I shall let you know, but most of the parts that I've done on this car are for uh, from Uddersfield Mini Spares. So, lights, that is modification number five. Okay, so modification number six, chrome windscreen wipers. So you can buy this as a kit, again, from Uddersfield Mini Spares. I think it's about 35 quid off the top of my head. Um, I can remember some of the prices off the top of my head, but other ones I can't. So if I mention some prices and not the others, that's plainly because I don't know. Um, so yeah, 35 quid. So you get the blanking plates, the chrome ones, you get the washer jets, and you get obviously the arms with new rubbers and stuff. Um, again, when I bought this car, the windscreen wipers ideally what I'd swap in so I just thought why not go ahead and just swap the whole things um, and upgrade it for something for something better so yeah that's modification number six I've run out of fingers okay so modification number seven chrome grill um, these grills are a little bit controversial some people love them some people hate them I've still got the standard grill over on the wall over there should I want to change it back hang on a minute Trying to make a video here, mate. Thank you. So yeah, chrome grill. Some people love them, some people hate them. Personally, I think a classic car should have chrome on it. If you wanted everything black, then you might as well go and buy an Audi with a black pack on it. Um, but yeah, classic cars, chrome grill, win-win situation. So that's modification number seven. Okay, so modification number eight, moving on to the inside of the car. So, before I show you these modifications, um, well, so I say modifications or just, just a change, um, I actually changed these seats for two reasons. One, because they look absolutely sick, and two, getting my chair in out the back of the Mini with a smaller seat, which is lower down, made the world a difference. So, what I went for is I went for the retro bucket seats. Um, so again, these come on a sliding, a sliding frame, so you can slide them forwards and backwards. I can't do it with one hand. Um, yeah, so they slide forwards and backwards, which gives you more space in the front of the car. And also, you can fold them up as well. Um, and what I can do is I can put my chair on the back seat, which makes it nice and easy. Again, Huddersfield Mini Spares. I bought the full interior from Huddersfield Mini Spares. So I got, um, I got the carpets, I got the seats, door cards and the rear. The rear seat cover which is on there as well the only thing i didn't get from Uddersfield mini spares was those mini sport uh floor mats i got them in a sale actually i think they was 20 quid um again i'm not 100 percent how much the interior cost i think it was about 600 quid all in which again for a complete interior isn't a great amount of money so yeah modification number eight is a uh, retro bucket seats Modification number nine. Oh, yeah, you all right. Yeah, again, Uddersfield Mini Spares, 99 quid. Now, this roll cage isn't, um, is it FIA approved for track use? I'm not 100% on what the regulation is, but I know you can't go on track with that and it doesn't meet regulations. However, for road use and for 99 quid with some sparkle stickers off eBay, I think it was an absolute bargain. Um, it just looks absolutely cool as anything and yeah because race car so that's modification number nine and last but not least number 10 is wooden steering wheel now if anyone's drove a mini with a wooden steering wheel with a metal on it and then drove a mini with one of these can you see that up there with the old sort of steering wheels when you actually drive with those wheels i find that the steering wheel flexes a little bit it might just be me, but I, th 
think a wooden wheel gives you much more um, much more feedback from the steering wheel just because it's you know it's more it's more solid and also it just looks cool as anything um, always wanted a wooden wheel in one of my cars and then obviously with buying a mini I thought why not so again got that Murrayfield mini spares I think that was like 100 150 quid again not a massive amount of money and again if I ever sold the mini I could just keep this and transfer it onto something onto something else and if anyone's asking what that is because I know someone asked me in the comments that is actually our drive um, so you pull it to go accelerator and then push it to stop you'll notice this mini's automatic as well uh, I did a full video actually on our our drive with that so again I'll link that in the uh, I'll link that in the description so yeah so that's my top 10 mods um, for a classic mini again all those modifications don't break the bank I think the whole car probably cost me probably spent about two grand on it two and a half grand in mods which when you actually think about it it's not not a lot of money considering what I've done um, also other modifications that I've done as well I might as well just run you run you through um, so I changed the boot hinges to chrome ones obviously private plate F1 because race car and obviously tune because it's me uh, sat in black roof again just looks absolutely mint um, it ties in well as well with the obviously the satin arches as well so I didn't want to go gloss because I don't really like gloss um, and obviously it ties in with the trims and the door handles and the rubbers and all that kind of stuff so yeah the satin black roof works absolutely perfect and obviously it ties in well with the uh, with the satin black reg as well so uh, what else have I done oh another couple of couple of little ones over here so I have also got a Monza fuel cap which just makes filling the car up nice and easy V power only and also my good friend Mr Classic Mini DIY Cole um, sent me a fuel bib so if anyone wants one of these fuel bibs this is a plug here Cole you have to thank me for this later mate um, head over to Classic Mini DIY's channel and he's got a website where you can buy one of these these are actually real leather as well and when I first got it it smelled absolutely mint oh crashing into things yep so yeah fuel bib uh, what else have I done what else have I done Oh, moving on to the inside of the car again. I've got Minivation cup holders. They're like hen's teeth now because they've stopped making them. And also the Minivation phone holder as well. Um, if anyone's not got a Minivation phone holder or those, then you missed out because they've stopped. Uh, they've stopped manufacturing them now. Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, I think is it for the uh, top ten modifications I've done on this. Let me just double check. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So today I've given this a clean um, and I've spotted some bits that need attention on it. So there's a couple of little, dare I say it, rust spots on it, um, which I'm going to address them before it gets worse. It's nothing It's nothing major where it, where it needs body work doing to it. It's just little kind of touch-ups I can do with the paintbrush. So that'll all be done in a future, in a future video. Um, you're probably seeing this video It'll be about four weeks after it's been after it's been filmed because I've got quite a few videos stacked up now um, for the for releasing them on a Sunday at sort of five o'clock ish. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Again, if you've got any questions about modifications um, and how to fit them and stuff, I pretty much fitted all these mods to this car. So if I can fit it, then anyone can. So as always, guys, stay safe. Um, I hope everyone's well with this coronavirus. And uh, I shall catch you in the next one, which will be next Sunday. No idea what it is yet because I've not filmed it, but keep safe and I'll, uh, I'll catch you then. Be seeing you.